Yo, what up? This is Jay Muse, and you're listening to the Gray's Tap Room Podcast. Snooch of the Nooch. Welcome to the Grey's Tap Room Podcast. I am one of your hosts, the Trash Can Tabby, and with me, as always, as always, <laughs> Chewbacca's Dingleberry. Okay. <laughs> Mike. I like that. I'm stuck in the butt of Chewy. You are. I'm a Chewy butt nut. <laughs> you are a Chewy <laughs> nugget. <laughs> that that one literally one. just popped into my head like right as we were going. Uh, okay. I'll take it. I'll take High it. Five. That was good. Good good on you, babe. Yeah. Right. I, I was like, do I do the smell? Do I do the size? Like, nah, he's just he's just a dingleberry. I'll take it. All right. I mean, I mean, I considered a great honor. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to the late, great, the legend the, uh, himself, Peter Mayhew, mm-hmm. the, one of the goats. So uh, you are uh, his dingleberry now. I'll take it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. A gentle giant. Mm, but I'm stuck in a fur. Uh huh. And it is Chewbacca. <laughs> right so. in the right in between the taint and the butthole. It rules. That's where you are. That's dope shit. There you go. You are shit. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting <laughs> we have an exciting episode this week. Uh, we're we're keeping it local. This is some Louisville local shit this week. Long time fucking coming. Jesus Christ. It is. Uh, if you watched our live stream on December eighth for the Kentucky Humane Society around the uh really fucking late uh that's because this person is the goat. Yeah. Uh. So uh, Louisville podcast fellow Louisville podcaster uh from the next. One of the hosts of the Next Level Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the man, the myth, the legend. Brian. Meow, meow, meow. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brian, welcome. That to was the that was the most fanfare I've ever gotten in my entire What's life. Your say? It's anime and I don't understand it. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. It's, it's Sonic. Sonic. I was doing it. It probably says part. something in Japanese about your mother, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Hold on, we have a sound bite for that. Oh, ruined it. oh you ruined do it. You Failed. stupid piece of fucking. Oh, I'm surprised here. you said fucking, but then got rid of this. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, right. I could have called him, <laughs> but I instead I just went with. Because <laughs> he guys, wants to act like a on our. I need show. one of those buttons. Treat him like a little. I need that show. button. Uh, we have podcast a, would be that button. We just got a new we soundboard like three weeks ago. Or I love it. Or I love eight. that. Eight. Okay, so there's eight buttons and there's ten. So we have eighty different sounds we can put on here. There's like Ooh, pages and okay. pages and pages of sounds. So I'm going through like TikTok sounds I have. Uh, here's one of them. Hold on. Which one? No. The fart one? No. Do it again. My hole. That's where it spit. That's one of them. (laughs) Nice. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, that's really, really cool. We're still playing around with it, but it's fun. Let's go. It's pretty dope. So, yeah. Pretty dope. No. So, uh, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, you're fine. Go for it. Go for it. I was to say, so I texted you yesterday or the day before. I don't remember. Uh, oh my god, a few days ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It is yeah. Friday mm-hmm. as we're recording yeah. this, obviously, because that's a good day for putting alcohol in your body. Friday and Saturday, baby. We're uh, we're drinking True. bourbon lemonade and White Claw, all mixed in one big gallon pitcher. You baby. are welcome. <laughs> because that's I'm crazy. On a diet. Well, I'm on a diet, and so I can't have the tweeze that I love. <laughs> <laughs> can't shout out to Twisted Tea. Uh, Follow yeah. follower show and fan of friends the of the show. They actually what's are. up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. So I have to keep it uh low carb. No, I sugar. feel that. Yeah. I, I told you guys, you know, uh, you guys were sharing with me your drink. I'll share with mine. Uh, I'm about uh, two cans in to some good and gather tropical cherry. Mm. My guy. It's not a sponsor, by the way. They don't sponsor me, but if you do want to, then hey, unpaid sponsor, friend. Of the uh, show. Anyway. um, So I, I might get a little crazy. 
from the bubbles. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we we gonna do burp. I'm gonna burp a ton. All do right. it. I, if I if I had the little beep button, I would beep every time I burp. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that the what whole episode for me would be. Yeah, just hold it down for like a solid minute or a solid like hour and a half. Just hold it down. Well, I think if I out of my then I just might my pants and it's just gonna be a big mess and okay. it's just gonna be wild. No, okay. Ooh, I need the uncensored version of that. This that is the PG thirteen awesome. show. This is Disney yeah. Plus uh, sponsor. Uh, the Patreon is yeah. uh, Max Plus. <laughs> our, our Patreon is called the Grace Taproom Podcast Max, Max Plus. Plus. <laughs> Max Plus. <laughs> Dude, I, I pulled all the stuff. Oh, you should. We should just send him it. one of our I last calls it. and be like, do you I still want to be friends with us after listening to this? <laughs> it, it, yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, on, yeah. on our last call show, we we say shit that we might get canceled for. Very right, badly. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, sure. We get so drunk, like sometimes we forget to turn off the computer. And then the someone soundboard. will say, and then yeah. they scoff the rails. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We'll say the F word. Or, oh, the or, F word. That's my favorite. I love the abortion. <laughs> no. Abortion. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Job application. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, back to what I said earlier. Uh, Yes. I guess a couple of days ago. I don't remember. Maybe it was either Wednesday it or was Wednesday. yesterday. Yeah. I kind of, yeah, it might have been Wednesday because I woke up at 4 a.m. to go to work and I saw your message when you said, okay, cool. Sounds great. Well, I came to you and I was like, hey, I have an idea for yeah, an episode. This was your idea. So you fucking. You want me to fucking. Well, we'll do that after the show. No, we but... won't. Oh, okay. oh time for is that. that for your Patreons? Uh, no, that's for our OnlyFans. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Grace Taproom Podcast OnlyFans. <laughs> Two hundred dollar tier. That's it. Max plus plus. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll submit this episode to Indie Popcorn. No, turn the pluses. <laughs> max X. <XX>. Yes. <laughs> it's a max triple X yeah. plus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> No caca. No. No caca on the show. We don't have rubber sheets. <laughs> don't want no. <laughs> wow. Did have tacos for dinner. Tonight was taco night. It was taco night. <laughs> Even though and it's... it's taco night. <laughs> you know I mean? hey. It's taco you know Friday, I mean? bitch. <laughs> All right. So uh, anyway. trash can. Tell them yeah. what we're talking about tonight. So we are going to be talking about what the difference is between the movies made in like the 90s early 2000s and today like i'm thinking like basically what you mean is mel gibson is looking on all you little kids with shame and disappointment more along <laughs> the lines of why are there so many fucking remakes yes. why cannot why can't anyone have an an original idea anymore mm -hmm. um and and the difference between like the two of like why they were good back in our day compared to right, today. Yeah. and Fair. even if we could take it back even to our parents or grandparents time those still were good and they held up yeah the 80s like me your grandparents can time. i play devil's oh. advocate to that real <laughs> quick <laughs> yeah can i play devil's okay. advocate to that real quick let's look at the old school marvel movies yeah and now let's look at the mc <laughs> where they are better Ooh. okay well Obviously. but that's the old that's literally the only thing that's it. Okay. Well, let's say when Gunner has a kid, they do Marvels again and they remake them the way that our Marvels and were they, remade. No, no more superhero were. movies. I'm over <laughs> superhero movies. Oh my god. You lost they me. They had their run. You I'm lost over. me. Over Marvel. I'm over. I'm over. You lost me. I I'll shout out to Deadpool three. Though. I miss the good old days when we didn't have to have cinematic universes and we just had movies. Y'all remember those days? I, I we, don't remember those days. When we, when we had like, you know, we had like maybe a good saga here, like Star Wars or, you know, a couple horror film franchises did a movie or two. Now it's like this. And this was like one of my first things I thought about. The second thing I thought about, uh, we'll talk about in a little bit, but that, that has more to do with how the movies are made uh, versus now versus then. But yeah. the thing is, like, now everything has to have, like, oh, does it have an end credit scene? Remember back in the day, we didn't, you didn't Dude, really hear, like, Kevin Feige spoiled a, us with is, that shit. Now is I it going to have it. a part two? Like, <laughs> because of Kevin Feige's dumbass, I can't go to the movies. I don't care what I'm watching. You have to stay, don't you? You stay, yeah. don't you? 
Yeah, I went to. You a, have been conditioned, bro. We went to a, a movie that clearly didn't set up for a sequel. But <laughs> did Kevin Feige like? Did he like influence these motherfuckers? Dude, I'm going to see Christmas Vacation, the old one again, and I'm like, the credits are on. I'm like, oh, should I get the fuck out of here? I don't need to like. <laughs> I don't maybe need to stay. <laughs> maybe there's an end credit scene I set forgot. up for Vegas Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> But no, so think about that though. Like, like, like now everything has to have its own universe, its own like. They, I feel like they make movies now to sell products. Mm-hmm. Than they do to make movies. They're you, taking you know the what I mean? Schumacher route, and they're only doing it to sell toys. Yep, that's what that's Batman very true. Forever that and is Batman and Robin true. was. Those movies were only made, and and for mm-hmm. the toys. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was made. They we need to sell oh, toys for this. So without let's a doubt, movies. Mm-hmm. No, that it's is a like one hundred percent hard fact. Yeah, it's it's kind of like you can't make a movie anymore without it being like a book, a toy. That's why something. it it that's has why... to be it has to be like we don't want to just make a movie. We got to make like a whole damn like thing, a merchandisable thing now. Well, like that's you know? why Tim Burton did more so now movie. than back then. That's why Tim Burton didn't want to do Batman Forever because he goes, mm-hmm. "No, I don't want to sell toys. I want to make a fucking Batman movie." Right? Yeah. And then for Warner sure. Brothers yeah. said, "Well, then you're out." Joel Schumacher wants to sell toys, so we'll fucking put him in. Right. Yeah. Well, now that that's you, why they suck. You said that of like selling. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense because a lot of the movies that came out from like ninety five to like two thousand five mm-hmm. were literally like book based. Think of it. You got Secret Garden. Uh, you got Lord of the Rings. You got Harry Potter. You've got Hunger Goosebumps. Games. You got Goosebumps. You got uh, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Even though it was a little bit later, but mm-hmm. all of these yeah. franchises, uh, fr- fr- I use. Well, the quote. I think of Jack Ryan the most because they had all those, uh, you know, the Jack Ryan movies. Are these mo- had, movies that are based about Air Force One, all that stuff? Yep. Yeah. Was Air Force One a book? Before? Was yeah. It a book? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. No, no. I'm thinking of. Um, no, it was Air Force I'm One. Thinking was of the, book. I'm thinking of the, the one Harrison of. Ford. That, yeah, it's Harrison Ford. Yeah, yeah, that's a book before it was a movie. Jack, Jack Ryan. Yeah, it's not Air Force Reacher. One. Reacher. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a series. Well, no, because Tom Cruise did the uh, Jack. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Clear and Present Danger. You've got um, uh, the Sum of All Fears, Patriot Games, and the Hunt for October. Those were all books. Oh yeah. Um, what the uh, Red, Red for Red, Hunt for October was uh, Sean Connery. And then the the two you had with uh, Harrison Ford was Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger, and then uh, Ben Affleck was the sum of all fears. Those are all based off books I made by uh, Tom King Clancy. Kind of Tom Clancy books, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 Clancy, Clancy. Yeah, King started that trend though. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I actually had a discussion today with um the person that gives oh. me my allergy shots. But go ahead, Harry Potter. I already said that. Oh, yeah, did I did. Lord of the Rings too. We can't forget I that. I said that too. Yeah, that was yeah. Hobbit. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Yeah, same thing for the most part. Yeah. But the guy who gives me my allergy shots, <clears throat> yeah. we got to talking about stuff today. Shout out to him. And he, um, shout out, dude. Shout out, Brandon. Yeah, there you go. Shout out, Brandon. <laughs> new, <laughs> new fan of the show as yeah. of today. Nice. Um, we always talk about what we're gonna do over the weekend, and I finally broke, and I'm like, okay, look pretty pretty popular podcast here if you want to so, know fucking uh, listen and he is here's the qr code i will tell him next friday when he gives me my shots that he has to listen to this we, episode we talk about this week on the pod oh, and, dude, uh, you'll, I'll, you know what i'll tell anyway, you on monday so we were talking about um i don't know how we got into it but movies that books were turned into movies and the person who wrote the book hated the movie and we could not for the life of us remember who fucking hated that movie based off of their book and it took me forever to remember who it was who was it no i was no i don't know you don't know no stephen king he fucking hated the shining and he also well no because he was tripping balls when he wrote uh fuck what's that movie the semi-truck with the pet cemetery green goblin on the front of it oh um god damn it I hate the fact that you just said that because now I can't think. You know of what it. I'm talking about? Though. Yeah. Yes, he was tripping balls when yeah. he wrote that. I think he was on coke, like hop. Oh, he was on mushrooms, like, like higher than Van Damme in Street Fighter. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> wow. We all know how high he was for that movie. Yeah. But no, one of the things I was going to say is another uh, book adaptation that got turned into a franchise, uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Crichton. Crichton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Michael Crichton. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine if Jurassic Park, if the movie followed the book? Mm-hmm. Oh, it would be. No, it would. It would have to be. It would be. Yeah. It would be fucked. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah bet, yeah i've heard some things yeah i've not read that book but yeah the, i've heard the book is I've dark heard. dude it is it is yeah. intense i don't know if you guys know this or not but you know mary poppins is based off a book too right yep. so she mary knows. poppins the author of that i think his name is like pl travelers or something like that he hated the movie version he hated what was different in the book versus the movie they made mary poppins too pretty oh and i think in i think in the move in the book, she was like kind of poor and not w- like well off. Kind of like the pigeon lady from Home Alone too. Kind of, yeah. That's a, that's a good okay. comparison. Actually. So she has some stank on her. They they made her they they, they dolled her up, and he the, the the author did not like that at all. It, it was not really. Andrews is not someone that you can make look ugly because she is a probably person. not. She is a silver. She's fox. she really she is. is gorgeous. She is um, hot. But yeah, I was thinking about this. Like everything now has to be manufactured to be made into a product line, mm-hmm. and or everyone's like anticipating a sequel for everything now, right? Um, but I think my me personally, the thing for me when I was thinking about the topic was just how drastically the difference in we we lean so heavily into CGI now. Whereas back then we did not. So I'm a fan of the OG Star Wars movies. And so when uh when George Lucas was doing those, you know, they didn't really have much CGI at, at all to work with in seventies. So about the uh, episodes four, five, six? Yes, the the okay. original trilogy. Yeah. So those movies um represented a time in which I think movies you had to be vastly creative on how to uh, film the movie versus now you know people have like tablets smartphones programs on a computer Mm -hmm. to make things a a lot easier and I'm not saying because it's easier that means it's like not good but I feel like there was and and that's kind of life in general with a lot of different things I see whether it's movies video games all that I feel like now people and I think that is the vast difference because I don't think, and maybe you might, you guys might think I'm wrong about this. I think there isn't as much need to try anymore. There isn't. As there was, say, 20 like to 30 it. years ago. It, it, when it really comes to doesn't filming. feel like it. Well, that's right. That is why Evil Dead 2013 is one of my favorite horror movies, is because the entire fucking thing looks like it's CG, but it's fucking practical effects there is what movie evil dead 2013 oh yeah 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 i've not like, seen the sequel to that yet. that movie the fucks. okay that so absolutely evil dead 2013 the yeah. only thing that is cg'd is the fire at the very end was it really yeah. that's yes. wow okay well because it was on that. a closed set and they couldn't light a fire light it on fire right yeah but yeah. i mean the bitch that fucking cut her arm off with the fucking Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Uh, yeah, fifty thousand gallons of blood. Yeah, that was from awesome, the fucking man. sky. Yeah. I want to. One of my biggest he, ones is I want to know how the girl who was in the shower cutting her face off, like how were her eyes with the contacts? They were, um, her pupils were dilated and then like they expanded or actually, shrunk. uh, the Evil Dead twenty thirteen was seventy thousand gallons of blood. Was it seventy? I thought it was 50. That's crazy. That's 70. still a ton. I mean, that's, that's still, a, still ton. a ton. Yeah, but all of that's it. A was... fuck, that's a lot. But that's right. such like... a brilliant fucking movie. And that's. But see, the thing is, that's you like don't all the see that anymore. Had. You don't. Because And they that's my problem. Like, have you have you guys seen Peter Jackson's first movie? Yes. Dead Alive? Yes, yes. absolutely. Okay. You know what I'm talking about, right? The, the long one where he the breaks off the, in the foyer, thing, walks up. Yeah. You had them using like corn syrup and like, like a red dye and shit like that. And there's like blood everywhere, right? My question to you is, and I was going to ask you guys this question. We can have a little fun with this right now. How many movies that were made, say, starting in the 80s, going to, we'll say the early 2000s, would have been just as good 
if they were made using CGI. Do you think? Are you say, are you asking with the technology that they we had have today? Then? If they had been made with that technology we have now instead of what they used back then. So let's so let's take it alive out of the eighties. Let's put it to here in twenty twenty four. Sure. Would that still be a good movie? No. Or would it be worse or better? I don't be because worse. I feel like if you're using if you're using CG if you're using blood CGI to create blood, uh-huh. that's cheating. I agree. I agree. 100% cheat. What about what about Evil Dead, the original one with Bruce no. Campbell? No. Would that be good if it was made with the technology we have now then? Uh the remake. There's your proof Evil, right there. Oh, Evil Dead 2? Yes. Evil Dead 2? Yes. You, they they really they could have used it. Because I that's agree. when uh uh Greg Nicotero mm-hmm. was involved mm-hmm. in that picture yep. and yep. when it comes to that, he is yep. a master of his craft. He is I think for me it's horror. I think horror has vastly changed as a genre from how how stellar it used to be 20 30 years ago. Lazy. Now horror I find it very hard sometimes to really find something that's like going to really pique my interest. Yeah. Lazy. It's because lazy. and you're right. You guys know it's all it's probably all of our favorite genre is is horror. Mm-hmm. And I and and for me it's like when someone tells me a horror movie is good, I'm like, okay, but is it good? Like, like what makes what's it good? good about it? Like, I get very and you guys forget too. I was a manager of a blockbuster video for a decade. Okay, right. So I worked at a video I, store. I had to hear the multiple avenues of suggestions all the time. And, and when it came to horror, for me, I feel like the horror genre has has greatly. Randy. I don't want to say completely declined. I have yet to watch Terrifier, and I know you guys are probably like, holy shit, not seen no, it. No, 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 it's absolute fucking trash. Yeah, that is one of our movies that we what? Yeah, It's dog shit, dude. And anyone listening to this. No! Don't. We hate it as much as we hate Rob Zombie's Halloween. Oh, no, I'm friends with David Howard Thornton, too. Oh, no. And, no anyone listening to this. If you guys hit your penis, it's fine. You're entitled to it. I and still anyone, want to see it. Anyone listening to this episode right now, if you I still want to see this it. about Terrifier 3, we don't fucking care. Yeah, we really don't. It's that bad? It, I hate I'm it. still going to try and see it. Though. There's no storyline. It's okay. literally there for the gore factor. It's the, the oh, value it's of the gore. It's a gore fest. It's is just some blood? clown coming in. <laughs> and he just, yeah, that's all it is. It's just, no, it's a, literally I'm a, I'm a clown and I'm going to kill it's people. It's a gore factor. That's it. That's okay. it. There's, so it's, it's, a gore, it's a gore fest. Okay. There's no <laughs> development of character. There's nope. no plot. Nope. There's mm-hmm. nothing. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. So see, that's the thing for me. It's, I think you got to push the limits. I think the, here's the problem. And I see this because, you know, I know you guys cover a lot of different things. We cover a vast amount of things on our podcast, Next Level. The thing we kind of talk about on our show, and I, I would imagine you guys have too, is just how vastly different things have been in general the last 30 years. Oh, like, yeah. just, you know, how everything feels like no one wants, every, everything feels like everyone's try, trying to play it safe. Mm-hmm. No one wants to really, uh, you know, push the envelope. We kind of talked about this the other day when it came to professional wrestling, we talked about this recently when it came to the video game industry. Um, There's about to be a big, big change in the video game industry soon too. But like, the thing is, is that everyone wants to play it safe. And it's kind of like, people just kind of go, well, when's the next Jason movie coming out? Right. Cause like, screw this whore. I'm waiting for Jason. I'm waiting for Michael. And the thing about the Michael movies with the, the, the Halloween, the recent three was, they weren't even that good. Cash like, I, I, uh, even 2018 that good. is awesome. 2018 is good. They should have ended the it first there. one. Yeah. And then they just went like downhill from there. Yes. Right. Yep. We can agree. Even though I'm a huge, huge fucking Halloween fan. Oh, I am too. My favorite. I am too. Oh, well, I, I absolutely am too. They, they tried to get, instead of uh, Anthony Michael Hall to play Tommy. They the tried to get. Tommy. They tried to get Paul Rudd to reprise his role as Tommy. As oh, okay. He was. He I didn't was, know that. He was shooting. Yeah, he was shooting Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. So he wanted mm-hmm. to do it, but he was like, "Fuck, I'm shooting Ghostbusters. I can't do this right now." Mm-hmm. But he was. He was like, "Man, if I but, wasn't doing Ghostbusters, dude, I'd be all on board." The writing was absolute fucking trash. I yeah, think I, it would have been better if the writing was better. I think that movie. The one thing that pissed me off was like nobody acted like they knew who Michael Myers was. Right, and the whole damn town was they like treated Michael like he was about a, it. Like he was like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, and they acted like they didn't know what he looked like. And I'm like, but you guys know what he looked like. You're Haddonfield. Like, how do you not know what the fuck he looks yeah. like? Right. Like it was. 
it was it was a good movie if you were stupid and didn't know anything about the the previous movies. Yeah. Right. If, if you're, if you're coming in, it's good. If like, you're well, hold on. I don't. I, I don't want to say stupid. That sounds wrong. I I want. I, it's good for the people who. This is their entry into Halloween. Right. Or and they, they and they know next to nothing about the Jamie Lee Curtis original movies. Right. If you if you've never seen those movies and you watch these, you're gonna enjoy them. Yeah. But see, I, I love God, go back and watch the old movies. Well, like if you had seen you know? the original once. Well, no, that's what I was gonna then, say. Then is the other you, three are fine. If you've seen the the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, whatever, if you've watched them, but you've mm-hmm. not really watched them if you've watched right, the yeah. movie is like hey i'm gonna put this in i've never seen it okay this is cool but yeah. if you haven't like literally watched it and broke it down and like mm-hmm. this is fantastic in the cinematography and the acting and the writing and the lighting and all of this but then you you never realize like this is the mm-hmm. backstory then you go into the new stuff and <clears throat> you're like i mean it, they don't they don't get it they wouldn't get it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's just trash. Yeah. And um, it could have been wrote better. G- going back to the CGI and the practical effects, a good a good one, I'm going to bring this up again, is Jurassic Park. Yeah. Because the first yeah. Jurassic Park... Oh my Park, god, yes. The first Jurassic Park was fucking flawless. It was a, a amazing movie. Masterpiece of a film. Now, today, the Jurassic Park that came Jurassic out... Jurassic World. Or Jurassic... Dominion. Yeah, Jurassic World. Dominion. The, I did not watch Dominion. I haven't seen. Oh no, Fall, it. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen was that twenty two? Fallen Kingdom was, was the second year. one. It was last. Year. Dominion was Dominion was twenty two. Fallen Kingdom or no? Yeah, Fallen Kingdom was the second one. Twenty three. Fallen Kingdom was the second one. Dominion, Dominion was the came last out one. last year. Okay, so twenty. And there's a new one coming out. Did and you see that announcement? By the way, no. Next year they announced a date for no, like the guy. One of the, the guy who wrote the script for the first Jurassic Park thirty right. years ago, right? Well, thirty-one years ago, he's writing this. Okay, now hear me out. They stopped the practical effects for Lost World. That's mm-hmm. when they started bringing in CGI in Jurassic Park 2, Lost World. Yeah. Then after that, it just got more CGI, CGI, CGI. There was no yeah, practical of effects. Lost yeah, World is awesome, though. I, I do. I like the second one. Yeah, I liked Lost I World. I love yeah. Lost World. Mm-hmm. I like the third one. I God, no. It was, I know. It yeah, was that's bad. where you lost me there. Yep. I, no, it was bad, but I, I liked it for the fact that that's where they tried to end it, but they couldn't end it. True. Yeah, it was a good conclusion. It was a it. I mean, or it, it should have it. It it was shot or written as a conclusion. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But See, that they also sense. had a lot of they had more CGI on that one than they did the second one. But here it comes again. Is the CGI stuff? Is you know, you know the first one was great. The second one had a lot of good practical effects, but also uh-huh. some CGI. The third one was pretty CGI heavy, but not as heavy as the. Most recent three Dominion. Yeah, yeah. they had law. Lo- uh, the Jurassic World, world the World Trilogy, the yeah. World Trilogy so far. Yeah, yeah. I did like you know, the first Jurassic World movie. I did like know, that very much. You, you brought up uh, you brought up a, a kind of a good thing that you said when you were talking about the movies. Um, you know I, you know what I'm a fan of in movies. Not many people say this. I'm a fan of things just ending and yes. staying ended. That's what like, I'm- can we get a shout out to that? Because for me, as I'm getting older, I'm seeing things like, okay, I'm going to compare this because I'm, because I'm a gamer. I had to compare this to one thing. The last of us, they, yeah. they remade part two, which only came out three years ago. Okay. So it's a video game. Right okay. Now? Yeah. The game. They already remade it. They already remastered it. Right. Why? My, Cause a fucking game. Cause of this baby, that's why oh, hey, money. All, the almighty dollar. Money. That's why they do everything. Money. My thing is, is I want to ask you guys a question too. Sure. But for Why me, it's for me, it's I just want things to end. I don't need, uh, I don't need every movie to have a a fucking post credit scene. I don't need a every story to have a continuing i don't need like like the santa hedgehog franchise i hope this is the last one i don't need four five six jim carrey's not going to keep coming back and doing every single one of them again 
Actually, he is doing three, but on uh, Paramount I, Plus, there is a, uh, and I found this out yesterday, there's going to be a uh, six episode series for Knuckles. Wow, Jesus Christ. It I just, for dope. me, for me, it's like, I, I just want some things to just be left alone. Yes. Just stay in the past. Let them be in the past. Let my kids, my grandkids, and what have you, enjoy them the where they came from and, and, and not ruin the legacy of things that stay behind. Because my question to you guys okay. is what is your what is your movie? It can be either one movie or it can be a whole franchise. I know what mine is. Motherfucker, that, I am glad you brought that up because they- that has that has to stay in a vault and no one can fucking touch it and do anything else with it. What's mine, what is it for you? Mine is, and they have been going back and forth on trying to make a part two of it for a long time now. Okay, and they shut the fuck up and let it just leave it as it is, and that is the Goonies. Yes, yes. Let it go, let it, dude. Stop. I know they say Goonies never die, but maybe the movie needs to just be left alone. That movie, right? that movie yeah. had a conclusion. We don't need yes. to see what what Corey Feldman and Sean Astin are doing now. I don't give a fuck about their kids. I don't care what they're doing. No. I don't care what's going on. Leave it alone. <laughs> I leave it alone. I agree. So, well, the, good, great answer, Mike, by the way. That's a great answer. I didn't think I about like that. that one. Fuck. What's yours, also, Abby? I, I do have one. Oh, of them. Okay. Oh, you have another one. Yeah, let's hear it. It's another one they're going back and forth on, but mm-hmm. this was a trilogy. Uh-huh. There will not. Don't even. If you're going to say it, I'm going to walk away right the fuck There will now. never. Not let it die. It's done. It's over. It happened. L- do not make Back to the Future four. Yes, we have a winner. Thank you. That's what I was gonna say. Stop. Mm-hmm. There it is. Shut yep. the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Well, Robert Zemeckis happening. said. Robert Zemeckis said for as long as he's alive on this planet, they will never touch Back to the Future. Oh. Uh, I forget his name, but the actor that played Biff. Uh. He uh, said, yeah. "No, we're not." Tom Wilson. Yes, yeah, Tom, Tom Wilson he said, "We are not doing it." Shut. He wrote a song about how they're not fucking. <laughs> yeah, he was very like, "Fuck Adam. no, we're not doing this." Michael J. Fox, you know, as great of an actor as he was, he can't do it. Christopher mm-hmm. Lloyd is too fucking old. Stop. Yeah, you can't rehash the original. Oh, cast. they'll just remake it. They won't even use anybody from there. No, they'll just remake it. Yeah. Don't. You know what they'll do? You know what they'll do, Mike? That's gonna piss you off. They'll do a ghost. They'll do a Ghostbusters all women version of Back to the Future. Yeah, I'm sure you'll love that. Let it go. Martina McFly. There it is. (laughs) You got it, baby. Doctor Emily Brown. Doctor Doctor Emily Brown. (laughs) No, I don't want it. We're putting it out there. We gotta quit. We gotta quit. We gotta stop. I don't fucking want it. I know. <laughs> I don't care who it is, what it's about. I don't fucking want Back to the Future. <laughs> it ended at three. The DeLorean got hit by a train and exploded. <laughs> fucking stop. <laughs> until four women, until Martina McFly. You're going to make me say three. offensive words, and I don't <laughs> want to do it. I got to be on the ready? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Dude, that was great timing. Until <laughs> Martina McFly finds the plans from her uncle Marty. <laughs> if, you, if, you want back, if you want Back to the Future four, fuck you, you stupid bitches. And yet, and then you have uh, God damn it! I went. Have you guys even watched that shitty Ghostbusters movie? I've never watched it, and will never watch that. I, I did. I actually enjoyed it. You, but, it. but you have to separate it from the we, like the original. Yeah, because it's an no. alternate universe. No, fuck that. I'm not no. watching that movie. I nope. liked nope. it. I liked it. I, I usually don't like things like that. But hashtag not my Ghostbusters. Sorry, hashtag not doing it. <laughs> retweet. <laughs> It has hashtag been. no back to the future. Retweet, retweet, <laughs> retweet. Leave it, leave it alone. Hashtag no, it's X. You gotta it exit alone. now. Quote, we're, quote. we're gonna Z it, re Z it. You know, <laughs> it's X now. So, quote tweet. <laughs> uh, like, like, what like, your what's yours, Tabby? What's yours? What you got? What's, what, so, what's your like, like leave this the fuck alone movie? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here. That's it. That's all I'm gonna. No, it <laughs> does it. So you're talking about movies that don't need a sequel, or that they need to just leave the fuck alone and never like mess with, remake, what Can have we you. Could travel back in time to 1978. What are you gonna say for Halloween? Yeah, 
Well, been there, done that. But we, I know. You're too late on that. I am. Well, now we're going to have to make another Back to the Future movie now because you want to fucking go back in time. I and do. With Michelle Myers. Sure. <laughs> and and Laura, Larry Strode. Larry Strode. Larry Strode. <laughs> Larry Strode. <laughs> Larry! 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 <laughs> Um, going to get you, Larry. Michelle Myers. It'll be a, it'll be a female Michael Myers. <laughs> Michelle Myers, Larry Strode, played, played by the uh, the AI Margot, Margot, Margot Robbie is going to be. No, I was going to say played by shut the up version of China. <laughs> Who China? The AI version of China. Oh my God, Joni Lauer. Shout out. No, oh, Joni oh. Laura, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. R. I. P. Queen. <laughs> you know how they they did it in uh, Star Wars with Princess Leia. Oh yeah. Yeah, so they use they use China, but <laughs> no, no, Ryan, you'll appreciate this. Instead of they'll just use Becky Lynch's body, but they'll put Joni Lauer, they'll put China's oh, face on. Shut up. <laughs> she don't need no mask. They'll use, they'll use Rhea Ripley to play Michael Myers. Oh my god. Dude, okay, hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> you shut the fuck up. Hold on now, wait a minute. <laughs> It'll be Dominic Mysterio as Michelle. <laughs> they'll get a guy to play a girl. <laughs> you should do a whole episode about poorly cast movies that you have to recast like poorly oh, like, use the worst mm, people would be use the worst people for the role like Ooh, make it like a fun sh- we'll have yeah uh, that would be fun we'll have matt uh ryan gosling play uh the sheriff from blazing saddles that actually might be idris elba can play gene ha- gene wilder's role in blazing Saddles. oh my god <laughs> the, we'll okay. flip the script okay so when we oh we should do a recast <laughs> flipping the script and brian's gonna be the judge okay oh no you guys it's gonna be too easy i'll laugh Wait. at everything Just i know but that's the point but you have to choose who has the better take tune in next who week. has the worst who can make the worst recasted movie exactly exactly so we have to figure out that movie oh. and i have to come up with at least three movies and you have to recast like the main like characters the... well yeah that's how we do it is like, like okay yeah i was gonna say movie, i was gonna say yeah 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 no, 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 no supporting cast seven that would be a yeah. cool tap room recap uh, episode. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That would be a fun one. Okay, Dude, I'm down. Patreon. Let's make it happen, baby. On the okay. episode. I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Let me know because I'm I'm ready for that. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go right now. No, it'll okay. be the next one in two weeks. It w- no, that's my birthday. Okay, <laughs> don't want that for my birthday. Let's go. In a month. In a month. I don't want that one. Um, so yours will be Halloween, for sure. <laughs> well, Wait. we have the same movie. That's the thing. Yeah. So you get to choose. Um. So if I could tell a movie franchise to just stop, stop. just stay where you are and you don't hey, get shut the fuck up. It doesn't need to be. Um, yeah. honestly, the Sandlot. Yeah, but I'm I'm no. also thinking outside of the box. Um, no one remake the Sandlot, please. The first one that pops into my head right now is Evil Dead. Stop. Okay. I respect the next, that. The, the, whoa, actually, who I take that back. Oh my God, this bourbon. Motherfucking scream. Stop it. Stop it. So, wait, you don't want any sequels to scream? Just the yeah, first no. one? Yeah, just, just stop the sequels. Whoa. Just stop it. Just stop more sequels. Well, so they're doing one, seven is going to be it. Oh, yes. it, is it going to be it? Is that, uh, is yeah. it labeled like that's it? Sure, yeah. it that's, is. No, it is. It is. It's, let's it's take, go straight you know, to my, space. you know. Mike, respectfully, yeah. do you know how many times we've heard this is the end of this and they're never going to do it again? No, it's... it's and, yeah. and they do it again. <laughs> well, I mean, they'll do a remake of the 96 one, I'm sure, eventually. You forget, like, Mike, that this is the same it. franchise that had a shitty MTV series, too? Don't talk shit on Scream <laughs> on this show. That is my favorite horror no, franchise. No, Scream was a... I, I actually Scream. enjoyed... I know, I didn't say I like Scream. Two. It is my all-time favorite horror No, franchise. I liked the TV show. Season one and two was great. Three was trash. Ooh. Ooh. And the only good season of the show was the third. Really? Was it? Okay. Because they used the actual, it was actually Ghostface and it was canon to the movies. You know what mine would have to be? Mine would have to be fucking Child's Play. Full stop after Child's Over. Play 3. Yeah. That's it. You, and that was full my stop. intro to horror movies. Yeah, me too. Full stop after Child's Play 3. Nothing else after Child's Play 3 needs to be done. Leave them alone. Oh, dude. So, mm. so real, real quick, uh, story time real quick. I yeah, uh, yeah. I got to actually meet Ed Gale. Uh, and he's tell one of our him, friends. And tell him about. Oh how, wow! Yeah, and tell him the story of like, dude, you are the reason. I yeah, you were my first horror movie villain. You were my guy. Like you. Oh, that's awesome. Off. That's and awesome. He, yeah, I got to sit on the ground and take a picture with him because 
He's he's and we're actually friends on Facebook. Yeah. He is the nicest dude. He's so sweet. He you know he's the guy that did How the Duck too, right? Yes. Yeah. He is yeah. so fucking you want to talk about humble? That dude is the man. Is he really? Yeah. I'll That's go great. on I, he, he used to yeah. do Facebook lives a few years ago. He stopped the doing time. them now. Oh, he, he did them during COVID. Yeah, yeah he's sixty years time, old, man. Yeah. I I jump in, say, "Hey, Ed, what's up?" He goes, "Dude, Mike, what's going on, man? Cool, How man. are you? How's everything going? How's your family?" Yeah, That's pretty rad. Yeah, dude, we became like, like friends. Okay, I've nice. got my two. I've got two. Ooh, okay. That shouldn't need sequels. That should okay. not have sequels. Okay. The first one is going to have a sequel because it's already been announced. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is the title. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it should have a sequel. Uh, secondly, no. Jenna Ortega is not. She's not that great. She's man. not good. She fucking sucks. And I listened Ooh. to Porn Stash. Porn Stash's episode, um, the newest one, X. or no, 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 it might have been X. I don't. Yes, it was about X. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know which way Jenna Ortega's looking. Is she looking at me? Is she looking at the camera? And her eyeballs are all over. <laughs> X I fucking sorry. lost it. X, I liked it. Shut X up. Is a fucking. Dog, I liked it. That's fucking dog. But food anyway, movie. so Beetlejuice should not have a sequel. Okay. Even though they're going to have a sequel, and Michael it's going to be fucking shit. What on a writer and Michael? I'm Keaton. looking forward to it. I'm not. It's I think be uh, even I uh, hate Jenna Ortega, but Catherine O'Hara is in it too. Yeah, they got like everybody back except for um the uh, the pedo, the guy. obvious, the yeah, oh, the pedo guy. Yeah, you know that a, one of the cons had like booked him, and the person that booked him did not know his backstory and his crimes. Yeah, and they found out and they pulled him they like, like a week. Oh before. shit, we did not know that. Who and, um the whole con was like, uh, oh, here's an apology oh, letter. What's his name? What's his name? Hold on, he was uh. He was the he was Catherine right here. He was the house design, like the home, the interior. Oh, Otho, the guy. No, 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 not Otho. Or no, he was also was, um, he was the principal at Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Jeffrey Jones. Oh, Jeffrey Jones. Yeah, he's yeah. a pedo. Yeah, guy. he's a badass. Yeah, he's a bad man. Yeah. Someone booked him for a con, and they announced it, and there was a post on Facebook. Uh, they posted like, it that he was on there, and he, they just got ripped for it. All the comments. Wow. Like, why is this guy going to be? Why are you inviting I'm not bringing my kid. Yeah, no. Yeah. And they were like, bad. the person that booked him, like, was completely, like, well, clueless. Like, oh, like, they apologized. Like, we didn't, I didn't know I that had no he idea. Did this. Yeah. They so, yeah, I forgot he was like doing some things with children and shit, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I I forgot all about that. Jesus, he's Christ. like yeah. Subway Jared. Creed. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah. He was oh, yeah. probably number two on Epstein Island list. Probably. I think he's the, he was the realtor for that island. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. He might have been the fucking realtor. All right, so my That's number. Not, not shout out to Epstein. Not friend. Fuck that guy. He's yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. We get it yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> Another movie, and you are going to appreciate this one, that should not have a sequel whatsoever is E.T. 100 and Even though they're yeah, talking I agree with about that. it, they're tossing around Ooh, the idea. What? They're tossing around the idea of a separate a sequel to E.T. I will. End. You know that commercial that they came out with Elliot and his kids? They're it, one it, was, of, it was a Christmas. It was a Christmas or a Super Bowl commercial. No, it was a Christmas so. commercial. Okay, that, that commercial? Yeah, it that was, was for... supposed to be like a trailer type thing, and they were going to make they were going to make a secondary oh. movie where ET comes back and meets his kids. No. Yep. So I have two. I'm not okay with this. I have two movies that they need to never do anything with, mm-hmm. whether it's a sequel or a remake. Right. Um, the first one is my all time favorite movie ever, The Shawshank Redemption. They should never. Oh, they shouldn't touch it ever. Uh, the Shawshank Redemption. That's they should the- never do anything. Just leave that movie alone. Um, and then the uh, the second movie I would have to say is The Princess Bride. Um, I think they need to leave that movie alone too. Can I, I have a hot take? Yeah, I love that movie. Personally. I hate Princess Bride. I've never seen it. I don't think it's good at all. You've never seen it? I've never seen it. She's never seen it. I hate it. And it's one of your so good. And I'm probably so good. going to like it. It's so good. <laughs> I might have to watch that on Sunday when I'm recovering. You need to watch that movie. I want to. I really, I have wanted to. It's good. I mean, it, it, the peanut? it might not be for everybody, but it's, I enjoy it. It is Carrie Ellis. I can see it, though. And he, and Carrie it's Carrie Ellis. Ellis. He's you, you, can't, you can't recast anybody in his role. What's That's a, true. What's a movie that if you did a remake, it mm-hmm. it would be like a like you can't remake this. You can't make this movie now. Uh, we have a whole entire episode about that. 
That was a long time ago. Of the movies that could never be remade yeah, movies, today? Well, I want to hear Brian's. Oh. Movies that can't be made today. <laughs> Not another teen movie. That's the first one right there. Any of them oh, here. You gonna do, Amer- you American gonna do, Pie. You do American Pie can like never that? be made right now. <laughs> American Pie. American Pie can never be made right now. Oh, do you want another one? Blazing Saddles. I was Blazing Saddles can never be made. Could Mel not. Brooks could oh, never have Mel Gibson. Movies. Any Mel Brooks movie. No Mel Brooks movie can be made right now. <laughs> well, hold on. Hold on. Hold, oh, hold on, dude. Hold on, brother. I think <laughs> Spaceballs would be okay. You could get away with I think space Spaceballs. Balls. Could get away. You get away with that. Yeah. It could because balls, yeah. it's very Jewish. It's Jewish leaning. I think men is it Jewish okay. friendly. Uh, men in tights, yes. And they're all Jewish friendly because Tropic Thunder can never make Tropic Thunder right nope. now. No, nope. there is no, nope. no way, no, nope. <laughs> no how, nope. You know what though? Funny story about uh, Tropic I've watched Thunder. the TikTok on that one. You showed me that. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I never, I Robert it. Robert Downey Jr. was on uh, Rogan, <laughs> Joe Rogan, and yeah, he said, yeah. He goes, uh, RDJ goes, dude. All my black friends, they were like, dude, this movie is hilarious. You were, yeah, awesome of it. course. And it was my mom that said. Robbie, you should not have done that. <laughs> yeah, I heard, I've seen that. Like, uh, I've seen what's that. His, yeah, what's his face? Uh, booty sweat guy was like, I was trying to keep it cool, but I knew it was super racist. He, he and... said that Robert Downey Jr. kind of outblacked me in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the yeah. guy that the guy that played Al Pacino in Tropic Thunder. He goes, I think Robert Downey Jr. was more black than I was in this movie. <laughs> um. You know what else they probably couldn't make today is Shallow How. They could probably not make Shallow How. Oh, that is that's still a hot take movie today. Because you it's know, so no, there are so many people who fucking well, despise that well, movie. Yeah. I, it's the, yeah, you got to appreciate the comedic aspect of it, though. Right, like, it's, it's a funny a, movie. Funny. I don't care. It is. It's, it's a funny fun. movie. It's it's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> it is a It's good. It's a fucking. It's a Jack. It's a good Jack Black movie. And also, you know, now that I think about it, if we're in this, we're for charting these waters. You could definitely not make the first two Rush Hour movies at all whatsoever with as much uh, appropriation towards Asian people that go on with that movie. What? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Right, yeah. What? (laughs) How funny would it be? Never touch a black man's radio. (laughs) Like, if honestly, though, if Jackie Chan was like, if you want to remake the first Rush Hour, like, if he says it's okay, then you can do it. Then it's okay. Sure. Go ahead. I will be the producer for this. Whatever you guys want from my end, yeah, go ahead. Just as long I need to have a like a I need to have some word in this. But if, who do if, you get to play Jackie Chan's role? There's like no one that can literally do that but Jackie Chan. There is there's really no cool. one at all. Actually, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Who? Uh I don't know his name, but he played uh Shang Chi in the MCU. Oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I I his name escapes me, but yeah. He I accept, by he the way. A- He's awesome. Did, did you guys see that um, Netflix is bringing back Beverly Hills Cop? They're doing a series? No. Yeah. Yes, and it yeah, looks Ed, fucking amazing. Murphy, and I can't wait. Yeah, Eddie Murphy's <laughs> coming back as Axel. Yeah. What? Yeah. I'm so That's stoked. Amazing. There's a trailer for it and everything. Yeah, there's a full-on trailer. Yeah, I think they it got, comes out. They got, like, uh, they got Judge summer. Reinhold, too. Judge yeah. Reinhold's going to be in it, too. Like, the, o- yeah. the OG cast is, like... OG awesome. cast. Oh, yeah. we have nothing better to do. Let's make a TV show. Yeah, Beverly okay. Hills Cop, dude. Let's okay. fucking go. I'm those movies are so fire. I, have you seen all three of those movies? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, I, love, I love Beverly Hills Cop, dude. I'm all... Axel up. Foley is, like, his best role. I don't care. I know people love him for playing... Uh, oh, dude, 100%. Professor Clump and all that shit. No, but fuck no. that. Axel Foley, his best role ever in a movie. You know what yeah, I would yeah. like to see get I don't oh, I don't know. Well they already did a remake of it though. What? Robocop. Yeah, they kind of did. Yeah, they already oh, made Yeah, they did. They like, remade they, Robocop. Ten years yeah. ago. I haven't seen it. I was yeah. just thinking of another movie that couldn't be remade for the aspects of what about Predator? Yeah, they there is a remake. A, oh. uh, Adrian Brody is. Oh, the they did, didn't they? Yeah, Ew. Mm-hmm. it saw it. Mm-hmm. Do- Adrian Brody should Prey? Not have it. That's not a remake. That's well, a it's a prequel. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah so good. Pre- have you seen Prey? I have not seen. Prey. Oh my dude. god, dude! That movie fucks. That's oh. on Amazon, right? Uh, Hulu or Hulu, Hulu. Hulu. is is yeah. is that actually about Predator? It's a prequel, but it's yeah, a prequel. prequel. Yes. Okay, I need to it see. takes good. place you... during a uh, Native American. Ooh. Oh, you're going to fucking love it. It's fucking... Yeah, okay. It takes place, I think, in the 1700s. Yeah, but I thought it was on a different world. 
No, it looks it's cool. It's on, I think it's I've seen, on it. I've seen on Earth. trailers for it, but yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. You're missing out. Yeah, it's, it, it it's takes okay. good. It takes place okay. on Earth, dude. It's, that movie kicks. It's ass. very does it really? Okay, I need to watch it. Then. I've heavy, heard lots like, of good things. Like a, it's a good thriller. Like it keeps you on the edge of your seat. Like oh my god, does it really? Bad. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Fucking bad. And uh, the dog does not die. There we go. Oh. That's the only spoiler you get. Jess, There's one more. If you ladies are listening, the dog does not die in, in prey. There is one more movie that I don't want anybody to mess with, and it's uh, The Breakfast Club. Leave that movie alone. You know what? No, fuck that. Anything John Hughes touched, yep. leave it. Yeah. yeah, leave all his movies alone, period. <laughs> Those are the 80s. That is like the 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 theme for the 80s. That is like 80s. John Hughes own he was the boss of you know that. you know that's a thing you don't see many that's a good point because we're still talking about you know like compa- the comparing and contrasting right. from them now you don't see too many like feel good like kid type like you know those kind of movies like like home alone or mm-hmm. you know i i feel like we've shifted away from a lot of that stuff now right yeah like you know you don't have like because i mean i will say do you guys like anything jordan peele puts out his movies no, no you guys don't like his movies i um, have only seen is it mama i don't think you didn't want you didn't watch get out no oh i have God. not seen get out yet get out oh, no 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 so what was good. the one where the family was was copied that's us us i, think. I yeah. have seen us but i was drunk so i don't remember a whole lot of it I told you you, you gotta should. get out was really good was i'm i'm gonna have to watch that one i don't get I, out. i'm not a fan of jordan peele's his style. I liked. I liked. He nope. Keeps nope. calling nope. himself the next John Carpenter, and nope. that that is an immediate like shutdown for me. I don't think he's John Carpenter at all. No, he, he refers to himself as he 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 refers to himself. Is it really? That's weird. I don't see yeah. that. No, no, dude, shut the fuck up. You are not. John I think Carpenter. he. I think he wants to be more. Uh, Stay in your lane, Alfred Hitchcock than than John Carpenter, because the I way he a, does his movies. Is... I get a new age vibe of Hitchcock from him, but yeah, that's that's. Do I've not say, oh, John I'm the Carpenter? most John Carpenter. No, dude, shut the fuck up. He's Sit not John time. Carpenter. No. John <laughs> like, Carpenter wipes his dog shit shoes off. I was going to say, yeah, John Carpenter blows him away. But, like, he, he kicks her me, ass. I do like, um, did you guys ever get into, like, M. Night Shyamalan? Yes. Yeah, oh, dude. Village is one of my, f- I love the village. Yeah, village I find the, the sixth sense. Yeah. Yeah, Village was Village was pretty good. I thought it was kind of weird. But, like, I, like I never cared for it. Things. The yeah, all his movies have like a twist, right? Oh yeah. I, what was that stupid one he did, The Happening or something? The shit Happening. With Mark Wahlberg. I liked The Happening. I did too. It was good, I, but I haven't seen that in a long time, so I need to watch that again. Honestly, it was Bird Box before Bird Box was. Whoever, I'll let you. I have it. We, we have it. I'll let you. Bird Box it. was such a stupid film. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hated that. Flick. I never. I never seen it. I hated I that movie. It. I don't. I didn't watch it. <clears throat> isn't it supposed to be like a dumbed down version of quiet place no it's a blind version of quiet place it's blind quiet place yes it's a blind place yes that's yes that's actually what a lot of people call that it's yeah. a blind place <laughs> it's a blind yeah. place yeah. yeah yeah but the premise is kind of the same isn't it's it? it's the exact same except they're blind and not deaf yeah you can't like okay. look at anything <clears throat> whereas in quiet place you can't like step on things or be loud so right. yeah it's like the same concept but like different right different take on it what yeah. the hell yeah it's yeah. weird that's unfortunate i do like quiet place though oh i, I the- love oh, quiet place oh, you see they're doing a they're doing a spinoff they're doing day a, one uh, or some shit it's a, it's no, a prequel. It's a prequel day one or a prequel it's day yeah. one yeah I'm, yeah I'm excited for that to yeah. show how the whole thing's i liked the second one with uh, oh Kevin murphy in it mm-hmm. did you guys hear they're doing 30 years later yes yes dude i love those later. films 28 or 28 days sorry 28 years later oh my god i'm so excited because i love those movies i think i think killing murphy signed on for he is that. he is he's replying murphy signed role. on for that one he's, he's on the second one yeah he's, he's not the second one no but yeah yeah this one the 28 years is supposed to go back to what 28 days was it yeah starts there yeah yeah That's it's cool. supposed to like i'm so excited is, for that one this is what that group is right i need to re yeah. i need to rewatch those two films too the cause... 28 days later was shot so horribly but it's so good it's really good but it might have been shot on purpose like that oh i'm sure it was the cinematography was was well was... i mean it was crunchy as fuck yeah but, i do remember that yeah you can tell a huge difference in american cinematography and british cinematography but at the same time yes. though 
the storyline behind it carried it enough t- that you didn't oh, care. Oh, one hundred percent. I'm just talking about the quality of of the film. Yeah, yeah because yeah. British cinematography kind of has a, an, artist- an older, fuzzy yeah. kind of a yeah. look, and American yeah. cinematography has more of a high def look. Yes, it's like a filter kind of. Yeah, yeah. With, with the way you but know, because the how angles you know. though, the angles were weird too. The the acting and the story carried that movie like it did, and it made it, it iconic. Yes. So there's a franchise that they're doing another movie of too, and I wish this I, I wish this whole series would just die. They're doing another dumbass Planet of the Apes film. They're doing another one. Oh my like, god! That the the Rise Dawn and King no no R- Rise R- Rise of but you know yeah, the, I, I know what you're talking you're talking those, about yeah. Yeah. There's a trilo- it's a trilogy right the now. The trilogy was good. It should stay. Th- it's great. I love yeah. it. Uh, yeah. Those are good. Her, uh, Jace, her brother, got me into those, watching those. Yeah. Loved. I love all three of them. I think. Yeah, this is, I think, I think this is a fourth movie now, but. See, no. Kind of over it. Kind of over, over it. It was. Uh, the Mark Wahlberg one is a guilty. Planet of the Apes. Movie. Rise of the Planet of the Apes and War for the Planet of the Apes. Okay. War, yeah. Dawn Rise and War. Yeah. Those were... didn't, it, didn't it have like Woody Harrelson in the third one or something like that? Uh, Yeah. Gary, Gary. No, that was the second one. Gary Oldman. That was the second one, yeah. Because the first one had, uh, what's his name in it? Frank um, um, John Lithgow yeah. was in it too. John No, Lithgow the first movie made... had um the guy that was like the villain in Spider-Man. What was his name? That has a brother. Uh, God, what's that dude's yeah, name? James Franco. James Franco. There it is. Yeah, yep. he was in it. Yeah, and uh, John Lithgow was his dad. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, John yeah. Lithgow is a yeah. fucking goddamn king of an actor. He's underrated. He really is. If there is, if there was a person you can meet right now, that's an that's actor. Good. Oh, that's a good one. Who would you want to meet? Like right immediately, you had access to anybody. Who would you want to meet? Oh my god! If I had access right now, right now, like like immediately, like like say we'll say tomorrow, like say tomorrow, you're like, yeah, like, I want to meet this person. Like he's coming over to ha- for a hang tomorrow. Got to come and hang. Maybe have a drink or have some dinner. You know. Yeah. Who is it? He or she? Who? Mine would probably be Jennifer Lawrence. J Law. Really? I really feel like we have the same personality, and we for would, real, okay. we would be besties. Did not. I did not expect that. Okay. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. Ooh, that's a good one. I almost said Julie Andrews, though. <laughs> that would be dope. Henry Cavill. Why Henry Ooh. Cavill? Can I take that back? No, I'm Superman. Just... Only because of Superman, though. I mean, well, I mean, that's my favorite thing that he's done. You know, okay. Like so anyone mine... who knows me knows my love of Superman. Mm-hmm. So, so what? mine, I is because I was this close to meeting the guy. This close. He was right across the street from my house. And I didn't know he was there until one of my friends said, hey, guess who I met today? And you didn't meet. And I'm like, fuck you. Um, Robert, Downey, Robert Downey Jr. I was this what? close to meeting RDJ. RDJ. Yeah. What? This close. This close. That'd be my sick. friend was not my friend because he was my friend. He said, bro. <laughs> he, he was. was uh, so you know that movie, The Judge, that he did with. um, What's that guy's name? Guy, I, get, I, get, I always get his name. I always forget. His name. He did a movie called The Judge. Was it pre? Was it pre or post? Uh, this was during the MCU. All time. This oh, was during the MCU. Oh. Okay. Um. But he did one. It was uh Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall. That's who it is. Twenty fourteen. Okay. So he was in Castleton, which is a suburb in Indy. He, uh, I, I, I used to live across the street from a movie theater. And so a friend of mine was like, I just went and saw this movie, and I came out in the lobby, and Robert Downey Jr. was there. I shook his hand, got a picture. I'm like. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, literally, I could have walked across the street and met him, and I was so mad. Yeah, he was there for a premiere. I didn't know about it. So, yeah. That rules. Robert Downey Jr. That, that's who I would want, like, immediately would want to meet. Well, we already know that my boyfriend's going to be at Lexington Comic Con. Jesus. Wait, who is that? Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell. Stephen Amell. He's my hall pass. <laughs> He's your I whole create, pass. Create, dude, I've created a monster. He was like, I, you got to watch Green Arrow. And I watched Green Arrow and I'm like, I'm oh, good job, bud. Yeah, you did it to dude, yourself. I, 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 I should not have let her see that show. Who's your hall pass, Mike? Ooh. Ooh. Like, oh, like, 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 that's a good Lauren, one. Lauren Cohan from Walking Dead. Maggie. Maggie, really? From The Walking, Walking Dead? Dead. Yeah. 
That's your that's that's who you'd want as your hall pass. Fucking shut, Patrick Patrick. Walburton. I don't know, man. I I would say. Did you just say Patrick Warburton? I did, but I was thinking of Patrick Wilson. (laughs) Patrick Wilson. Peter. Patrick Wilson. The fuck tick. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. Yeah, Patrick Warburton. The tick. Yeah, no, ew, no. The tick. (laughs) Ryan Ryan Reynolds' boyfriend on Ted. (laughs) 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 All right, who's your who's your hall pass there? I would have to probably run around with my name Brian's all pass. That's because Betty we're White. Straight. No, I'm just kidding. Um, straight. You're fucking straight as shit. If they, I would, Ryan Reynolds is your hall pass. Ryan Reynolds would be a great hall pass. I don't care. Fuck it. Hey, <laughs> He's a fine man. Hey, 20 no, bucks. 20 bucks. <laughs> I would probably say, um, I'm, I'm shopping. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> me, I got to look. You know, I got I to gotta look. <laughs> I would I would say it would either have to come down to um you to Gal Gadot okay uh or uh Chloe Grace Mortz she looks she's great looking oh Chloe Grace Mortez yeah Mortez yeah mm. either one of those two yeah it's okay because she's she's not hit girl anymore Mm-mm. but if we're not talking like if we're not talking movie I gotta go with Rhea Ripley she's fine she's really <laughs> she's fine she's a weird face. I told her what look, I got to meet her. I got to I got to tell her I loved her at a show I went to, and she literally turned around and said, I don't love you. And you know what? She You're not Dom Dom. And that's fine. <laughs> You're not so, Dom Dom. I'm not Dom Dom. You're not Dom Dom. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a Dom Dom though. Nope. Usually. <laughs> she will not allow that. You're not. You're not Dom, what a pussy bitch, Dominic Mysterio is too. Oh, I'm like, oh yeah, I love that. Call me, call me, put me down some more, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, dude, thank you for being on the show, man. Dude, it's awesome it, it, dude, I love being with, uh, hanging out with you guys. This has been fun. I love podcasting. Podcasting is pretty damn cool. We we definitely will do you the uh, have you on for uh, on Patreon for our tap room recast. The show, worst is your idea. Worst casting. Can I pick okay. the movies though? Yeah, yes. you can pick the. Oh, movie. I've already you got one. one movie. You and, get one movie, but you also it. you also have to judge <laughs> of who has the it. worst. I got it. You who has the worst? Up. I love this. Idea. I love <laughs> it. It changes it up. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be yeah. so it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great. It's gonna rule. It's gonna be great. And then you guys need to come on my show. I was yeah. gonna say plug. plug and, you know, show. we'll we'll play some games on our show and just talk about you know all kinds of shit. That's what we do. So yeah. Well, uh, go ahead and uh, let let our listeners. listeners know where they can find you and plug your socials, your show, everything you got going on, man. Hi, um, my name is Brian Daniels. I'm here to steal all of their listeners. Um, so Ooh. come listen to us. No, uh, you can go to uh, our link tree, uh, linktr.e forward slash the next level pod. And uh, you can listen to us on a number of podcasting platforms. We prefer you go to good pods though. So we can like, you know, you can interact with us there, rate us, all that shit. These guys are on there too. Go follow them there if you don't already. Um, and then uh, the next level is part of the domain gaming pop culture entertainment network. So that's a, uh, linktr or linktr.ee forward slash the domain gpce where you can go and we have a youtube channel and all that kind of stuff talk about all the nerdy things and we talk about pro wrestling too so yeah you and me will do a uh, bonus episode on wrestling one day i would love to do a bonus <laughs> a bonus episode okay. don't get me started on wrestling i talk for now. three hours about pro wrestling he doesn't watch wrestling dude, and i and i fucked up i got let's back. go i'm I down should not have got back into it and i'm the down only way that i'll go. watch it is if it's like hell in a cell or a cage match where TLC. there's lots of blood TLC. yeah that's, those are good those are fun too yeah i'm down yeah. or you can come on our show and talk about pro wrestling too. i, I showed her because right now we're on the road to wrestlemania we're doing a special road to wrestlemania like shows I, I showed her the uh undertaker mcfoley hell in a cell match the 1998 Hell in a Cell match. Know. <laughs> that I know. Great. I've, I've met that guy. Oh yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like on the edge of my seat. Like, wasn't oh, that God. awesome though? Wasn't that amazing though? And I showed her the uh, SummerSlam. I forget the year, but it was Edge and Christian, the Dudleys, and the Hardys for the tag title. For the TLC match? match. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. In SummerSlam. Yeah, that you know the match one. I'm talking about. Are you looking for a good wrestling podcast? Yeah. Outside of what we listen to. I, I do recommend um not necessarily I mean I guess I'll mention them here um they're more uh they're not an indie show but uh check out Busted Open Radio I recommend them okay I'll uh, it's I'll uh it it's Bully Ray if you know Bubba Ray Dudley oh yeah 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 I follow on that's TikTok. such a great podcast 
I follow on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, folks, that is going to do it for this episode of the Grace Tapering Podcast. Another big, big ups to our good buddy, Brian, here from the next level, uh, another Louisville podcaster. Thank you for being on the show, dude. Much love to you. Everyone, go fucking listen to his show. Yes. Awesome. Go fucking listen. Five-star rating for us. Fucking listen. That's right. Oh, yeah. Five-star rating for this motherfucker right here. Especially if you're a nerd or even not a nerd, but you want to kind of dip your toe into it. Yeah, if you want to get your into some dorky shit, let's fucking go. Let's go, baby. Tab, take us the <laughs> fuck out of here. As always, thanks for listening to this episode. Don't forget to check out our link tree at linktr.ee slash Gray's Taproom Podcast 2. You will find many ways to support us. Buy us a coffee because we will be hung over after this episode. You can subscribe to our Patreon. Three tiers are available for you. Get your buzzed on for $3, get tipsy for 5 or fully loaded for 10 Don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, and always drink responsibly. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Tap room closed. Good night. Bye.